Okay, some fancy jumping. Sounds like a tip. She's a bit of retarded, if you haven't noticed yet. And she's actually 19 years old, so... I thought she was like 11 or something. I looked in the manual and it said 19. You 
beautiful butterfly with a monster's head. Hopefully it's hard. It doesn't look like it. It didn't hit for much. No. It's kind of weak. Garuda, real. Isn't Garuda a chick? Or the avatar of Garuda is supposed to be a female. Maybe this is just like a Garuda soldier. Kind of like a her minion or something. Aw, oh, it's ass. It's ass actually laughed at me. Last moment. Okay, so that was just like the uh, first stage. Really? Barrier? Cool. So... Seems like the actual uh, alignments, status alignments in this game do something as opposed to mo most other games where you actually just get like plus 5 defense. And this guy just gained titanium skin or something because I'm not doing any damage to him at all. And I don't have uh, that hope guy in my party. He's uh, the buffer, the buffer on my group. Damn, that took a lot. Just stay out of my way. A lot of my health bar. Stay sharp. Combat could actually have been a lot more interesting if you could if you could have uh, control like all three of them. But that's a lot of crystal points. Cool, new rolls. So what it seems like is uh, at certain set points in the game you actually. You get to expand your Christian tree and uh, you actually get new roles for your characters. I was actually I was wondering uh, actually how you you would expand that tree if it's uh, kind of something you found like an item or maybe you get powered up or something like that. But it seems that if you defeat certain bosses at certain points of the game, uh, your Trees so and your roles expand. Uh -huh. Yeah, no, and our luck is probably missing an engine. You shouldn't be so negative. Says the optimist. You shouldn't get your hopes up. 